the massive Temple of the Dawn, to the eye of everyone who sees it for the first time, as Princess Alexandra was soon to do, beckons all arrivals in Bangkok to a land of enchantment. Pathy News was permitted by the King of Thailand to film the Imperial Palace, a rare concession, as the Princess from Britain was escorted by members of the Thai Royal House. Monks, meanwhile, pursued their religious observances, little affected by earthly considerations. To Princess Alexandra, all this oriental beauty added to the splendors, which in the Far East seem inexhaustible. Inside the tree myth temple, the solid gold figure of Buddha, five and a half tons, is one of the wonders of the country. On every side is evidence of the beauty, wealth, and superb artistry in which generations of devout men have expressed their faith. In honor of Her Royal Highness, there was a display of the fawn left, whose dancers wear long artificial nails to enhance their grace of movement. Thailand, Princess Alexandra went to Burma, and at the war cemetery saw graves of British prisoners of war whom the Japs forced to build the Burma Siam Railway. What a tale of war's bestiality these mute stones recall at this now peaceful place. The princess was herself a child not ten years old when Burma lay under enemy occupation, and to her those terrible times must have seemed long ago as she paid her tribute at the cross made of sleepers laid for that wartime Burma Railway. Sir Philip Hay, in attendance upon the princess during her tour, was himself a prisoner of war and knew some of the men who lie buried here. Bitter memories the names must have evoked. A simple inscription, Bombardier Christian, Royal Artillery, August 1943. One of the wonders of the Orient, the Sve Dagon Pagoda, which must be entered barefooted. By the million Buddhists of Burma, it is the most venerated of their holy buildings. The two principal trustees of the Shve Dagon conducted Her Royal Highness. The pagoda has long been a place of pilgrimage for the devout from all parts of the country. The West has much to learn from Burma. This nation became politically independent in 1948, but under no rule, even enemy occupation, can it ever have been subjugated. Their values are not rooted in the earth. Their hospitality, as the princess knew, reflects their nature, and her charm captivated them. Of lasting benefit to both our countries has been Princess Alexandra's visit to Burma.